Hi everyone, I'm Samantha. Today I'd like to tell you my love story. I managed to fall in love with a guy who turned out to be a completely different person. Two years ago, I was attacked in front of my own house. A stranger approached me when I was returning home late in the evening. He asked for help. He told me that he had lost the keys nearby. His phone ran out of battery and it was already dark. So I started looking for the phone in my bag when I suddenly received a strong blow to my head. Then the robber nicked my bag. With all the remaining strength, I cried out for help and began slipping into unconsciousness. Another guy came running. A fight broke out between the robber and the new stranger, and then I passed out. In the morning, I woke up in a hospital bed. My head was bandaged and hurt like hell. In an hour, my savior entered the room. His name was David. It was David who chased the robber away and called the ambulance. I was very grateful to him. Before he parted, we exchanged numbers and arranged to meet again. When I was discharged from the hospital, David asked me to dinner. My new friend turned out to be a very interesting and charming young man. He could be both bold and shy, serious but with a great sense of humor. I immediately realized that he was a very special person. Truth be told, I fell in love with him at first sight. Soon David confessed that he liked me and we started dating. He understood me better than all my girlfriends, easily guessed each and every one of my desires. But there was one problem. Our relations did not develop beyond certain boundaries. There was no intimacy between us. Once I even suggested that me and David should move in together, but he immediately declined my suggestion without really explaining anything to me. I decided to have a serious conversation with my boyfriend. During the conversation, David told me that he hailed from a very religious family and there could be no intimacies between us before the wedding. Of course, I was glad to hear that, but soon I understood that my boyfriend was in no hurry to propose to me. After our conversation, David became very jealous, but it felt somehow pleasing to me. Several times, I even made up some petty reasons for him to become worried, and it worked. David finally confessed how dear I was to him and proposed to me. We even exchanged wedding rings as a sign of our serious intentions. But suddenly, David started acting kind of strange. He disappeared for weeks at a time. He didn't answer my calls, and all he told me was some nonsense about sports seminars. One time, when David went to another one of his suspicious seminars, I decided to surprise him by doing a spring cleaning at his bachelor's den. But when I opened his closet, I found many women's dresses, none of which were mine. Now it was crystal clear to me. David didn't want me to move in because he already lived with a girl. I immediately called my boyfriend and berated him. It was evident that my discovery took him by surprise. David couldn't even say anything in his defense. Our relationship was officially over. A week later, I remembered that I left some personal belongings at David's apartment. When I came there, an unfamiliar girl opened the door. I immediately noticed that her finger was adorned with the engagement ring I gave David. It was too hard for me to bear, so I just ran away in tears. Now, I was 100% sure. All this time, my boyfriend just lied to me, and meanwhile, he lived with another girl. But the next morning, someone rang my doorbell. I opened the door, and I saw David's girl. I was stunned by her audacity. But before I was able to explode, she just began talking. Suddenly, I heard David's voice. I looked closely, wiped off the tears of anger, and finally realized that it was David who stood in front of me wearing a dress. My fiance confessed that his real name was Olivia. He was born a boy in a female body. For many years, David was trying to come to terms with the fact until he finally snapped and decided to leave his hometown to undergo a sex change operation. He started taking hormones, doing sports, and raising money for the surgery. He didn't have the nerve to tell me about it, so he sometimes went to the hospital in secret. Hence the disappearances. Lately, it was harder for him to keep the disguise because his parents arrived. They didn't know that their daughter had almost transitioned to a man. So he had to improvise around them and needed dresses. I was shocked and felt very ashamed. How selfish I was before. All that time, I was thinking only of myself. And I didn't even notice that my beloved man needed help. Now I sincerely wished to make David's dream come true. After all, I did love him, and I didn't care that he'd been born a woman. In a week, my boyfriend underwent surgery. I was with him all that time and helped him return to normal life. I felt so bad that he had to hide his real life from his parents, so I decided to call them and tell them everything. Surprisingly, David's parents turned out to be very understanding. 
His mom and dad have long suspected that something was amiss with their girl. David cried when his parents visited him at the hospital and told them they supported his choice. A year later, David and I got married. Honestly, I think that a black tailcoat suits my husband much better than a woman's dress. Of course, we've still got many unresolved problems, but I'm sure that together we can overcome any trial. Right now, my husband and I think about adopting a child. I guess we'll do so soon. Do not be afraid of anything when love is at your side. If you have heard similar stories, write all you know down in the comments. And remember, even the hardest challenges are nothing if you're armed with love and patience.